Hey guys, this video is going to show you my current routine for my hair. Um, you've asked and I am finally delivering. I recently moved so that's why this setup is a bit different. I'm just shooting the camera into the mirror. To start off, I'm going to be using my Cure Do. I use it to just pre-detangle my hair before the wash process. And I actually spray a mix of water, conditioner, and some oils over the section that I'm about to Cure Do. And you'll see when I get out the Cure Do that I start at the root and just the steam, I just let the steam hit my hair and I move on towards the ends and I focus mostly on the ends and you'll see that I actually use the teeth of the Curidu to comb my hair it's the only time that I comb my hair I have an exclusively finger detangling um, regimen but I like to use the Curidu to get any kinks out of my um, ends and I think that the steam is really helpful in getting that um, all done after I'm done detangling each section, I'm going to do six sections. I'm going to put them in braids. And I'm not looking at the camera because, again, this is a new setup. I just really tried to get this video out for you guys because you've been asking for quite some time now. And I could no longer continue existing without getting you guys this video. At this point, I'm all done. I have my six braids. And the next step is to shampoo. So I'm actually going to be using products by... Coco Curls in this video. I'll have a review up at a later date, but this is their hydrating shampoo. That's going to go in my hair first, and I'm also just showing you a quick clip of their revitalizing conditioner as well as their moisturizing styling cream. So that's what I'm going to be using today. Cool. Shower, shower, shower time. Shower, shower time. Shower time. Shower time. Ooh, ooh, shower time. Now that I've shampooed, it's time to deep condition. I'm going to be using the regular conditioner to deep condition. I just slather it all on there and um, I keep applying some until when I squeeze my braid, I can actually feel the conditioner coming out. That's when I know that I've put enough conditioner. And I'm just going to take a plastic cap, cover my head, and sit under the hooded dryer for about 30 minutes until, or until I'm tired or hot. After deep conditioning, I rinse out all the conditioner from my hair, still in braids. I usually rinse with warm water and then lukewarm water and then cold water. I try to ease my way onto the cold. And then next, I dry with a t-shirt and I'm going to start the moisturizing process. Don't do like me and blow a fuse because you're blow drying your hair, but not trying to be hot so you feel nasty because it will blow your fuse. And then... You'll be on the internet trying to find out what cafe opens the earliest because you have to be at work at 7, you see. But you have to get a post up in the morning because you left it to the last minute because life. So anyway, just Carol Sauce. Hashtag late night struggles. So I actually just blow a fuse using the AC and the blow dryer at the same time. Um, and it was definitely a struggle. But I'm just using... Carl's are as a leave-in, the Manoy, to spritz my hair. And then for my oil to seal, I'm using Moringa Oil from True Moringa. You can find out more about that company on my website, ColassiKings.com. I'm just working that through my hair um, to seal. And then I'm going to use the Cocoa Curls to twist my hair. So I'm going to take the this big section that I have, break it down into three, and then do a two-strand twist of, for each of those three sections. So I'm going to end up with a total of 18 chunky twists and this is my foundation for whatever hairstyle I'm going to do. So these twists might become an updo the next day, I might wear a twist out, it might become a braid out, it might become a bantu knot out, but this is just how I always start every hairstyle. It's really easy for me to do and to, it's a great way to keep my hair stretched and to maintain the moisture that I just worked so hard for several hours, maybe like a total of three hours the whole process takes me all done so now before I go to bed I tend to put my twists into a loose ponytail this just helps to keep them stretched overnight so that they don't shrink up a ridiculous amount by the time I wake up in the morning so that's my regimen. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions whatsoever, just leave me a comment down below. Bye.